Well, good afternoon. Today we are trying something a little different. So oftentimes we eat out. We love going to restaurants yeah. and trying new food. But we figured we should probably showcase more of like a budget-friendly meal for travelers yeah. in Europe. So, so yeah, because to be perfectly honest, most of the time we are preparing our own meals in our Airbnb. Yes. And that's how we save money. That that's basically what allows us to stay on the road. We have budget mm -hmm. meals. We eat locally. We have local like deli meats and cheeses, especially mm -hmm. if we're in Europe. We go to the markets and get fresh produce, stuff like that. So we're yes. just gonna maybe take you on a little tour to the grocery store yes. and then back into the kitchen and then onto our coach as we have basically, it's basically an indoor picnic. An indoor picnic. Let's go, let's, let's go, go shopping. Let's do it. <laughs> also, this is our apartment. We still need to make an apartment tour. But for now, let's focus on grocery shopping. Our supermarket of choice was closed. We were so, so we were adapting. We were, we were so excited to show you guys, but it's in a really cool building too. Really is. So you're missing out. We're missing it. On to the next spar. This is our backup spar. It is much smaller, and the vegetable selection isn't quite as impressive. But in we go, spar. Look at all the cheese. All yeah, you, the cheese. You know you're in Europe. When? There's cheese. Wonderful cheese selection. Plenty of salami here in Hungary. Yeah, if you like meaty cheese, you will not go hungry in this country, believe me. So now that the prep work is done, thanks to an ever-loving wifey, isn't that so? So, ooh, you did a great job preparing that. We're gonna and show you. You know, what, you know what I was doing? What? I, was, I was answering YouTube comments, so we, ah. we were both kind of working at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what our indoor picnic looks like. Yes. So I, I really like the presentation. We, You're welcome. This is a little fancier than, than normal, but mm -hmm. uh, that's wonderful. And so I'm gonna start off with some wine. I'll show you the stuff that I bought. Um, this stuff is pretty good. It's the Egri Bicaver. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And they call it here the Origin Controlled Dry Red Wine. And its nickname is the Red Bull's Blood. Mm -hmm. So this was actually the bottle I was hoping to find if that other store had been open. This one is really good. Also really cheap. I think we both are in the 700 something foreign range. Mm -hmm. So you're talking like below two euros, two something euros. That's good for wine. So cheap. Anyways, enough ramble ramble. Let's <laughs> try it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, I love that wine. Yeah? I absolutely love that wine. That is the local specialty of Hungary. Mm -hmm. so I will miss it when we go. Yeah. It's, it's dry, full bodied, flavorful, and it's just, it's affordable. And I've just, this is probably what? Fourth bottle we've had? I, I think you've had a yeah. few more bottles than yeah. that, Sam. Maybe, oh my gosh. Maybe a little bit more than that. We'll have to look yeah. in the recycling. Yeah. But anyways, going back to the food, um, Sam and I have different preferences, so our plates are slightly different. You have Can blue you spot cheese. Spot the difference, yes, blue cheese. The stinky blue cheese. That's my special ingredient. And yeah. is everything else the same aside from that? This time, yes. This time, yes. What would yeah. you normally have different than me? Um, really it's it's usually the stinky cheese. Or if I were having eggs, boiled oh, eggs, right. you'd be like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be up for that. Yeah. Right. Anyways, you want to give us a tour of your plate? Yes. Let's so see take, if take a look down you here. You can name everything. So these are basically the, are they, would you call these the cracker, crackers? Yeah, they're rye, rye bread crackers. Rye sourdough bread crackers. And then we have different types of salami here. Yeah. Uh, this one's spicy, this one isn't so much, it's more peppery. Mm -hmm. We have sliced cheese, blue cheese, cucumber slices, tomato slices. We have um, stuffed olives. olives. And this was a special one that we that we haven't tried yet. So I think this is It's a red stuffed pepper. pepper, I think, with ricotta cheese. Yeah. So and that's... apples. And we do tend to mix it up depending on what's available. Like we wanted to right. go to this open market where you can get fresh produce like cherries and yes. berries. So but cherries, it was closed. Cherries uh, right now, and what, what is it? Uh, it's early June. Mm -hmm. And cherries are on, definitely in season. And it, like 
great price. Yeah. Like we were getting like a half a kilo and paying, I don't know, maybe roughly, no, less than two euros for sure for that, a, a euro fifty, something like that maybe. So. Anyways, enough rambling about yeah. currency and prices. Let's try it. Let's dig in. So I'll try a bit of cheese on my cracker. I want to have a slice of cucumber too. Mm. Nice. Um, the thing I like about this too, is this is a bit of a lower carb meal. So, trying to lose a little weight, and that's great. So, we really appreciate all the hard work you put into this, mm -hmm. so now you get to try it. You're gonna, we're gonna try the thing, you're gonna try the thing that we haven't had before. The stuffed pepper, yeah, this is our first time getting it, so we'll see if it's good or not. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Is it nice? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Ooh, okay. Spicy? Not really spicy. Actually, yes, I just swallowed it. It is spicy. <laughs> but the cheese is very creamy and smooth. Ooh. I think you'll like it. This has a strong flavor. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Some apple, oh, yeah. apple to cool it mm. down. So, so delayed onset that spiciness. That was actually spicy, yeah. I feel like my eyes are going red from one bite. <laughs> So what's the one the, the one must have have thing mm. on your plate that's your favorite? You know, I really enjoy my crackers. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to have crackers and cheese all the time. Yeah, that's my favorite thing too. So yeah. I, I always eat the vegetables and fruit first, mm -hmm. and then I leave the salty stuff for the end with my wine. The best for last. The best for last. So another go-to favorite meal that we have, and this is not just here in Hungary, but this is actually like almost all throughout Europe, mm -hmm. is we find that pasta and tomato-based pasta sauce is almost always really cheap. Yeah. So that's that's a that's a favorite. And then sometimes we'll just enhance it by throwing in some like deli meat slices or cut up some peppers or mushrooms if they're available, throw it into the sauce. And yeah, that's another really, really cheap economical meal. And of course it goes great with red wine. And it's just, it's just, it's, it's awesome. That's, that's one of our most typical meals that we have in Europe. Also, our chocolate had kind of melted on the walk over because it's really warm out. It should be good now. And we don't normally have a little dessert plate, but we wanted to keep things interesting for this video. So we grabbed a few little treats. Yeah, this is a nice treat. So this is, a, apparently this is like some kind of a coconut chocolate. You can actually see the Ooh. coconut bits there. And is this chocolate or hazelnut? I got chocolate. Yes. Ooh, chocolate. Okay, I'll try a biscuit first. What's nice and light. It is chocolatey. And there's just a couple small a little double bits. layer. Double Ooh, la layer. la. Um, onto the actual chocolate. Mm. Mm. Oh. Is it coconut? Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's real, real nice thick chunks of coconut. Ooh, that's real good. Coconut. This is really nice. Normally when you have coconut, it's kind of like as a filling inside, like mm -hmm. a nice border and a bounty bar. But this is different. This is kind of just like mixed within the chocolate. I don't know if you can see the whiteness there. Yeah. That's pretty good. Actually, it's really good. <laughs> I have a favorite. <laughs> All right. Definitely Enjoy. Does. So that is a wrap for our indoor picnic. I think we're both pretty stuffed. That yeah. was pretty good. It looks like a small light meal, but honestly, it's pretty filling, especially when you tack on dessert. Yeah, with the wine and dessert, that ended up being definitely a meal, definitely a meal more than a snack. And mm -hmm. yeah, that was awesome. It was just yeah, just nice to be able to eat at home and to have nice a nice variety of food like mm -hmm. that. And you know what? This is a meal that you can modify wherever you are in Europe. Obviously, you're going to find different things. We find that when we are in Germany, we like to buy smoked salmon salmon which yeah is pretty good or like different types of fruits um, or muesli or yogurt you can really mix it up and create like a lot of simple meals that yeah, are also exactly. budget friendly exactly and with, same thing with pasta too you can use mm -hmm. your leftover vegetables cheeses and meats throw it in your pasta sauce so there's a lot of ways you can be creative to save money while you're in Europe mm -hmm. and definitely the, the biggest budget tip we have is to have quite a few of your meals at home because yes. whenever you go to a restaurant you always pay a lot of money there's tips, there's drinks, and so by eating at home, you can save a lot. So that's it for now, and see you next time!